When I think back to our conference last year, I think how much we have done. We know that um, cancerogenic factors interfere with cellular cascades. And a whole load of viral um, proteins participate in this process. Last year, we quoted from writers who um, discussed the oncogenic potential of um, B17 protein and a number of others, which can transform cells either single-handedly or together with other oncogenic um, factors. We have conducted some studies confirming that oncogenic capacities of uh, cancer cells can be augmented by a series of um, cell lines. Some of these expressed reverse transcriptase without mutation. They formed more metastases, metastases. In mice, um, the uh, data on this line are for mouse liver. A year ago, um, Arudina asked us, what about telomerase and reverse transcriptase? It's a tumor-associated antigen. And we were very interested to find out. Sorry, the sound was temporarily lost. And we wanted to um, explore the potential of telomerase and reverse transcriptase in vaccine development. The reverse transcriptase domain is homologous to So you could expect this negative effect that we saw. Given these factors, we asked ourselves, is there anything in common between PERT and HIV in terms of reverse transcriptase and its oncogenic potential? And we decided to ask ourselves in um, this question. Uh, we studied the direct oncogenic potential of RT and to test um, the metastatic activity. For this purpose, we cloned DNA encoding RT domain of TURD into into lentiviral vector and conducted transduction on murine adenocarcinoma uh, cells. This line expresses sensiferase. Uh, as confirmed by in vivo monitoring data. We studied the uh, clones on the basis of genomic inserts of rt uh, and we compared them with uh, biostatin um, genomic copies in rt -tert. There were some overlaps. So full scale turds can be visible on this slide. We obtained four cell lines that expressed a different number of genomic copies of RT turd. 
and expressed um, mRNA relative to HPRT1 at different levels. We started to describe these subclones, and we saw that they were very different from the initial cells. These are the pairs uh, shown on this slide. And they had reliably a tendency towards uh, the decrease of uh, G2M cells. So the reverse transcriptase of this domain changed cellular status. We also showed that a long ways with this genomic instability tended to increase. We saw, we observed two AX foci manifesting genomic instability and exhibiting endogenous murine turd. Thus, we saw that the cells that expressed increased levels of uh, RT turds experienced telomerase crisis. These clones were injected to mice was aimed to determine whether they could actually form tumors, induce tumors, and metastases. Surprisingly, we found that the subclones with one genomic insert of antiturd compared with those containing less than one insert lost capacity to form tumors. Whereas the subclones, whereas the subclones that had more than one copy couldn't form tumors. The same could be observed for metastases. Metastases with the overexpressing mice showed um, a large number of uh, a larger propensity for metastases. So we decided. The expression of turd, um, the, um, the expression was analyzed for full size turds. What we found that the majority of the mice had CD4 plus T cell response against multiple epitopes in the RT domain of TED. The part of the protein that we try to isolate. The same can be said about the uh, CD4 T cell response. They provided fairly robust response to multiple epitopes in the RT domain of TURD. 
and we published these data in an article that came out literally a week ago. Based on the study, we can say that overexpression of the RT domain of TED changes this changes the cell cycle of tumor cells, resulting in delays at S and G2 checkpoints and inducing genomic instability. Unlike um, HIV-1 reverse transcriptase, overexpression of the RT domain of heterologous TERT in mice reduces tumor growth and metastatic potential of tumor cells. Transfection of DNA encoding TERT into mice induces potent T cell response against the RT domain of TERT. What we can conclude is that DNA for the reverse transcriptase domain of TERT could be used as a cancer vaccine, safe cancer va uh, vaccine uh, that bears no risks of enhancing carcinogenicity. Thank you very much. And I would like to conclude by um, acknowledgement, by um, paying homage to some of the people who contributed to this response, including the Russian Foundation for Fundamental Research, for Basic Research. Thank you.